He's harsh with you. Help him out in any way you can at all times, even if he turns his face from you. Because then you are constructing good in your mind and thoughts, and good will be the harvest of your sowing. Not only this, you are bringing your mind into harmony and attunement with the Father within you, which is perfect love. Under these conditions, the Father can do its perfect love work in you. When I finished speaking, the people brought their sick to me, and according to their faith, were they healed. Letter 3 will describe more of Christ's teaching and explain the events leading to his crucifixion and death. He describes in poignant detail his last supper with the disciples when he found himself alone in spirit. Stripping the Tahoe down. Till the last, refused to believe he would be crucified. Repeatedly, he was misunderstood, and he realized again how little he had managed to teach anyone during his three years of missionary work. He was glad to be leaving. End of letter two. For that car. Christ returns, speaks his truth. Letter three. Since these letters take you into a spiritual mental dimension transcending the human plane of activities and concern, they will be best absorbed if preceded by a time of stillness and relaxation. Quiet your mind, if possible, going into a state of inner silence and thought. It is only when you are in this completely receptive state that these letters will penetrate your human thought with their reality. My boundless celestial love impels me to return again and again to write to mankind with the intention that finally, as many of you who are ready to receive it, will possess a knowledge which will enable you to transcend your humanhood and merge into Father Consciousness, the true love consciousness in which are realized all things bountiful and beautiful. As I have said previously and want to repeat, my entire mission on earth was prompted by love and was directed only at teaching the truth of existence. For without this knowledge, there is no hope of redemption from the travail which mankind is born to endure. I know this statement will bring much grief to sincere and dedicated followers of the Christian religion and those who have centered their entire faith on the person of Jesus. But I tell you truly, to succeed in ridding yourself of the humanhood which holds you back from the full realization of universal truth and the understanding of the true nature of the spiritual human condition I termed the kingdom of God. You must turn away from the old dogmas of salvation by the blood of the Lamb, the Trinity, and other beliefs, and come with perfectly open, receptive minds to the truth of existence. No other salvation is possible. God cannot save you, since in ignorance and the facts of existence, mankind will continue to make the same for a bomb mistake until the end of time, thus creating his own sins. In every level of being, this is true. You may now be sufficiently advanced in your thinking to be able to receive the following fundamental truth concerning your earthly existence. The law of cause and effect, reaping and sowing. Hermetic stuff, right there. What you call electromagnetism. And no one who has ever had any knowledge of science would expect God to set aside <sighs> the laws of electromagnetism with which these are actively bonding rejection. <sighs> Activity, bonding, rejection, or movement, attraction, repulsion, are the fundamental impulses of existence and of human consciousness itself, with which brought about your visible forms in life, and are the only instruments or tools of creation. They are responsible for the formation of substance or matter, and also for the development of individualized forms, and finally, of personality itself and all living entities. Since these laws are fundamental to your individualized existence, it is impossible to set them aside. Therefore, you cannot ignore the problems inherent in your individualized existence and believe that God will save you from them. Your only hope of final escape, of stepping off the treadmill of human experience, is to recognize and acknowledge them and then work minute by minute to transcend them and eventually merge in purity of mind, heart and action, and become one with universal love consciousness, the Father, which does the love work. At the same time, as you grow in awareness of the true nature of the Father within you and transcending you and all around you, you will come to have undeviating faith that in every circumstance you can draw upon the inspiration, power, and upliftment directly from the Father within and all around you. You will come to know it is really the Father which supports and guides you into the kingdom of Father love consciousness. It will become abundantly clear to you that whilst the Father is universal 
It is also individual for you. It knows you. It is aware of your thinking and your problems. Okay. The Father love Hope you enjoyed five minutes of this. Juice. Will you recognize